Some fascinating news about Mars tonight. Check this out. Scientists now believe they have evidence, you're seeing it right there, that at some time there was water on the planet. The evidence has been collect collected by one of the two NASA rovers scouring Mars for signs of life. Let's find out more about this potentially amazing discovery. Charles Liu is an astrophysicist professor at the City University of New York. Now, Dr. Liu, I will put the pictures back up as we talk okay. because I want people to see them. It's a vein. It's about a width of a thumb. It's about 18 inches long. Right. Opportunity discovers this, says that it's rich in calcium, in sulfur, yes. and possibly gypsum, which would right. have to have been deposited by flowing water, right? Almost certainly, yes. Here on Earth, my planetary scientist colleagues tell me that if they were to find something like this, say, in Death Valley, California, or somewhere else dry, they'd say, ah, there used to be water here for sure. So if they see this on Mars, that's the conclusion that they come to. And here's, Absolutely. they come to it, they say bulletproof. Here's what Steve Squires, he's the lead researcher for the Spirit mm -hmm. and Opportunity rover program, says this is the single most bulletproof observation that I can think of that we've made this entire mission. Is it bulletproof when you see this? Do you say, <laughs> yes, definitely water? Well, there are possible exotic physical situations where you could deposit gypsum under these circumstances. But, yeah, it's pretty bulletproof. As I said, I think calling it a slam dunk observation is very good. I've seen some of the evidence a little bit, not the physical stuff, but I've read about it and based on the scientific observations that I've seen. It's solid. And so explain to somebody watching at home, they're looking at these pictures and they're saying, okay, so this rover comes upon, it's in this crater, everything's dry, everything's dusty, uh, you're telling me there's water, how do you get there? Well, when you have calcium and sulfur in these concentrations that they found, it's basically this gypsum stuff. Now gypsum here on Earth is very common, it's this very soft powdery thing. Uh, it's in sheetrock, it's in tofu, uh, it's in homebrewed beer. Uh, so it just shows up when there is water and it slowly deposits over a long period of time and then the water dries leaving the gypsum rock in place i'm not now, sure i just i'm not sure i wanted to learn that the stuff that's in my walls is also in my beer um, but, but, <laughs> but thanks for that <laughs> sure my pleasure but so if there's water is there necessarily was there necessarily life what a great question everywhere on earth where we've found water sitting around for long periods of time like this, we've also found life. But until we actually get solid evidence, it's really, really hard to say for sure. There is actually a spacecraft moving on its way to Mars now. It's called um, Curiosity Rover. And in about eight months, it will land with the most sophisticated scientific equipment that's ever been on the surface of Mars. And hopefully, we'll get even more concrete evidence from that in just a very short time. And help me with the difference in the technology, because I had to be amazed when I was reading about this story today that the, the opportunity that rover that found this has been in operation mm -hmm. for eight years. I mean, a lot of people criticize how much money do these things cost, what value do we get from them. It's pretty amazing that this thing's been up there looking for evidence for eight years. Uh, obviously, if that has been there for eight years and we're sending something new, we've made such leaps and bounds technology technologically, yes. how much more advanced will the new research be? Well, uh, I can give a brief analogy. The Opportunity rover is maybe the size of a big coffee table. It's gone maybe 20 miles over seven and a half years. It was only supposed to be there for three months and working properly. Uh, this new Curiosity rover is the size of an SUV. It has a dozen scientific instruments. It's so big that you actually have to lower it onto the surface of Mars from a crane sort of operating from a hovering spacecraft as it lands as opposed to just being landing on the surface bouncing on balloons. So the opportunity to gain new information is pretty much as significant an increase as say what your cell phone was eight, nine, ten years ago compared to what it is today. And, and help with the riddle. You say everywhere on earth where there's been water there's been life. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so how do you go about the question and answer process to find out if that's also the case on Mars? That's a great question. When you have biological things around, evidence, say, none of these things are likely to be alive today because the surface of Mars is very old and very dry and very inhospitable. But you'll find fossilized evidence, maybe things that might look like the bacteria that existed here on Earth billions of years ago and are now currently fossilized. You might use a, something like a microscope to see what they look like. Or you might use a spectrometer, the kind of thing that was used also here on this little vein of gypsum, uh, by opportunity and maybe look at the chemical composition, see if we can find evidence of DNA, proteins, these kinds of things, or their remnants. Uh, it's a complex thing. I'm not a specific expert on that particular method of observation, but it is a very well understood way of studying and searching for life. And let's just hope that we can get it sooner rather than later. Fascinating.